Yo YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We are doing episode 2 of the Hogwarts Legacy game. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed episode 1. I certainly did. And I wanted to run it again yesterday after I had, you know, made food, but life got in the way. But uh, I'm free again. And we are going to run it. We're at House Slytherin, alright? Like where I always wanted to be. Where the real wizard's at. But I want to run it though. What am I talking about? I bet you can't even do that in this game. I'm just babbling. Let's go. Let's run it. Common room. like it. Oh, there's one thing I wish you could do in this game. is definitely just back the camera up a little bit. Yes. Uh, I know. I see the mini map. I'm not doing it. I don't care. Oh, is every room like this? Wait, hold on. Can I back up the camera? Can I, like, increase the FOV? I'd love to do that. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's not it. Depth of field. Wait. What's this man? Did I do it? I don't know. I don't care either. Let's just keep going. Sorry, I just wasted everyone's time there. Are in order. Let's go! Well, I suppose... Introduce yourself to these people. No. Can I help you? Oh! You're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallo. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Hmm. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. He's have sorted. Uh... What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Oh, okay. Okay. I know exactly what you mean, brother. No need to explain. It was nice meeting you, Sebastian. I'll let you get back to your book. Nice meeting you, too. Good luck today. I bet you I'm supposed to talk to these people in depth, but... Gonna give a damn. Just looking around, just looking around. Ooh, look at that, huh? Alright, alright. I'm not gonna talk to that guy? See, ah, uh, man, something about the camera. I don't know. I don't like it. Uh, might want to think that again. Not a fan I, of the camera. I think I heard one. <laughs> Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chat when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable blind, arrival. Yeah. Uh... I'd much rather have arrived on time and without a dragon attack en route. I'm sure. How horrible. I can only imagine. Well, it's good to have you in Slytherin. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Mm. Uh, let's ask this one. Were you expecting <clears throat> to be sorted into Slytherin? Sorted. Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status. A pure blood name. Status. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Uh, that's it. I'm not asking all those Thank questions, you, man. I don't give no... Very nice to meet you. Give a damn, I don't damn mermaids. Mine. Don't be a stranger. Thanks, brother. Now, the one's over here. Uh, might want to think that again. That's what I wanted to do. Look at the doggy. That's a doggy bone. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Backseat driver, I don't, don't like it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. Are you saying Imilda? You should have listened to me. Ah, um, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor <clears throat> Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Imelda, by the way. Imelda. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. 
Perhaps be nice. Professor Fig's friend would have be survived friendly. if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. The real me would have cut on that. More than I would have cut her. Speaking like, of which, her. I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Oh. Let's ask about this. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Yeah, Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. I feel like I'm it's not asking the follow-up questions, but I couldn't care. Here. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Yeah, it's this camera, dude. It's like... Uh, I'm not into it. Hey! Weasley. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? We are. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. Uh. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After King much of the world. discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Nice lady. Here you are. Harry. Oh no, Hogwarts, come on, dumb. Of course, H. Hogwarts, duh. I don't know why I said Harry. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Yo, he looked like me though, right? You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Boy. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. Hold on. I see something. House chest. I certainly oh, would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. You've been practicing. I can't run. It's not letting me run. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Come on, let's run, let's run. Do keep up. I'd love to. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue? Lumos. And see what details the field guide can provide. Revelio. So what do you do? I like guess walk out to it. Like what? Revelio. Sorry. This statue keeps the Kelpie, a shape-shifting, shape-shifting water demon native to the, to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. Okay. Largest kelp ever reported is the Loch Ness monster in Scotland. Kelpie. Kelpie. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Start. Alright. Feel good checks. Okay, challenges. 1%. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Sounds good. What's up with this thing, though? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like oh. that. I just Inside heard <laughs> and outside of the castle. Screen just turned red. There you, go. you can't get too far from her. Come on, fast how easily. Yeah. What's the password? Ambition? I forgot the word. Come on. Why can't we just walk a little faster? This is like walking like if you had a cup of coffee in your hand. Revelio. Ah, good timing. 
perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Okay. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Middle buttons, this okay. Uh, too many areas outside the map where students live, and okay. I'm trying. There. Okay, in this view, you can see the flu flames. Okay. Green flu flames represent the flames you've discovered, including your own house and room. Okay, these are the teleport points. Okay, got it. All right. Gotcha. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Beautiful. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. You know, oh no. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. I want to know the Hogsmeade. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade what is, that? is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Now we out of here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb we had me on your beer. first day. We have to and Hogsmeade. You have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use okay, of the video quest. earlier. I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Ooh, Fig said. That's my guy. We think Speak alike. Of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Whoa. Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get she's you keeping an eye on me. for those supplies. I bet you she's bad. She's being nice now, but she's bad. What's up, my homie? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in <clears> studies. <throat> Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation see? regarding our late arrival? I ain't no snitch. No, no, you did. I did yeah. my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility 
with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Hmm. Uh, start. I'm clicking it. Well, I, I guess I have to wait for that prompt to open. Uh, main quest. Oh, okay. Alright. Gotcha. Yeah, I got two classes. Alright, let's do defense against the dark arts. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, mm -hmm. focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Alright, we out. I'm moving. I wanted to catch this. What is this? Sorry. He says, oh, okay. 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 last time I have a potion idea that I don't write down. It will lead you to anything you've been tracking. What the hell have been tracking? Wait, I, I know I'm not supposed to go this way. 53 bucks, okay. Level 1, I'm not even level 1. Oh, level 1 lock, okay. We out. Sorry, got distracted there. We are going to the Defense of the Dark Arts class. Yo, this camera is well wonky, like for real. Like, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I wish, it, uh, again, like more FOV. What is going on? Open that thing. Right as hell, too. What? I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, I, I want this backed up a little bit. I don't. I really don't like this camera view. Got another one. Okay. Off on another adventure, are we? Yeah. Okay, you got to walk up slow to the doors. Okay. That's... Oh, okay. Oh, what's that? Not sure he's in at the present moment, the headmaster. Would be sure to tell him how very much you despise him. <laughs> Level 11? What as well be so happy for the show. Alright. Sorry, I'm wasting so much time, but, like... It's pretty cool. These are my two friends. I just realized that. Levioso. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now. You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. She could have just said repair wise, Age matters very little. I pay attention. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso! Yeah, a watch your mouth. A opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. 
especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Leviosa. Not Leviosa. Alright, here we go. Smolt. Smolt. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. I guess I, oh, I gotta show off. The fifth year, you know? It's like the super senior. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yeah. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise opponent is a weak opponent. Wait. Mm -hmm. Master Pruitt so artfully had oh, to sure. oh. Now, smoke, smoke, smoke. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Yeah, let's go, Duelists, Sebastian. Take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Okay. Now this should be easy. Oh, triangle. <laughs> How's the view? What do you do? You're good. How perceptive. This can't be your first duel. I'm going to smoke by this kid. All the students with this adept. I really have joined the team. Try to anticipate your opponent's next move. Let me also. Use the big when your opponent's guard is down. He fell off. Game. Smoke. Not bad for a beginner. 100 points to Slytherin. <laughs> We're supposed to be friends. Relax, bro. I don't know what he said, but... I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, mm. Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. There you go, man. Top of the class, baby. Top of the All class. Right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Uh, let's keep moving. I guess we gotta talk to Henry. Nice work. Post game interview. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for I'm it. I'm not letting them know. Be coy if you like, but I know better. <clears throat> Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain <clears throat> exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Ooh. Exclusive Amen. and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, 
You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, Good. Yeah, Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Luke and... All right. I'm skipping through all that. You're not going to see me walk through the whole school just to get to this damn charms class. In the movie, this looks like where here. we learn Ungarden Love Behind start. you. There's an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But <clears throat> before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, I like you spent your holidays practicing oblivion on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Giggles, you giggles, giggles. Even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right. <clears throat> I like him a lot. He's, he's just very... X. Boom. 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 I'm him. Akio. Akio. That is not bad. Akio. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! That guy's funny. I like him a lot. One thing I'll never get used to is this long I've loading screen. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? That's <laughs> 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 official. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? What am I doing? I'm bringing the ball to me? Akio. Uh, Very simply, so cast Akio to... on one of the spheres and relinquish your Akio at the last boss. Very good. Now, uh, think of this like... Oh! Excellent control there. Stop it. Splendid. Stop, 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 stop. Stay focused. Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. 
Miss Onai, you, you, you want to do? Blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. I'm pra I practice, so I'm yes, good sir. now. Yeah, you go up, you up, you up. Miss Onai. Miss Natty. You suck, you suck. That is how it's done. Oh, dude, wait, hold on. Give me a knock her ball out the way. Oh, I should hit it harder. That's it. Here we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, you, nah. You lost. It's already over. You already lost. Akio. Get that ball out of here. Nicely done. Let us see this. Nope. Yeah. 30, you suck. Here it is, here it is. Here's the money. You got, this is the thing. I gotta hit it at the left side of that ball. Come here. Bam. Bam. Don't lose your composure. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I'm not talking any more crap. I just have my ass beat. Oh, I do have to beat her? Oh, I think we okay. are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Who's turn? Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. Oh, my God. This round settles it all. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah. You suck. There we go. Akio. <laughs> happens to the best of us. Here we go. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh my that gosh. Here we go. Done. This is my opportunity to knock both these balls out of here. Pause. Come on, turn. Excellent control there. I gave her fifty. Let us see this. Phew. Oh my god, all right, I gotta like launch this, ready? I gotta launch this one. Akio. No! Well done. Very good, both of you. Well done. Oh my gosh. I'm a failure. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. You see in the cussings how it well renders done, in? Doctor. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Alright. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Where's that? My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda, Uganda. and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. That's nice. Uh, let's do that. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. I read that ahead. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Nice. All right. It's That's not all I want to know. Another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. 
I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. We running it back, Miss Osai. Of course. A you word can use if you would. On humans. If you you wanted to mind. speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? <laughs> Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hmm. They got me doing. Oh, that's downstairs. I'm looking at the mini map. I thought it was a thing here. All right, that was cool. So what's next? Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Oh. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Sorry. Quest log. Oh, no, no. Wait, is it that? Yeah. This. So what level am I now? Transfiguration classroom. Okay, that's like what that... Transfiguration. Let's me transform into like a cat. Oh man, I was gonna jump. I was gonna say, forget it all. I'm jumping. You know what? In this game, you find yourself just looking at the mini map the whole time, You're not really like looking around at the surroundings, which is and no bueno. Is this a chest here? Like, what is this? I see something on the map. You see this? What does that mean? There it is. Let's chat. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Dobby. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. You're trying to give I me the snitch. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander 
will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Let's get I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Hmm. I don't know. It's a tough one. So the I gotta keep the enemies close type of thing, you know? But Natty... I'd like to go with Sebastian. Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. That's a wild name, Once Theophilus. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Oh, you're getting wrecked? Oh, okay. Shoot. Right. Let's go to the next one. Alright. Sounds good. A little pop up. Look at this cat. Who's this? Nice little caddy. Little kitty. Alright. We're back. After that uh, brief mess up. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone friend, your magic. Friend. That's what I, I want him to say. Some like, for, for you, today. special See deal. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. All right. I'll start Let's on the task start right away, up. Professor. Revelio. Alright, uh. This way. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Levioso! <sighs> Rebellion. Uh, oh, Repero. Need the broken statue. Akio. Rebellion. Hmm. There you are. Akio to bring it in. Okay. Got it. Please open. Please just open when I walk to it. A flying page must be around here somewhere. It's huge, bro. Oh, I see you. <laughs> it's gonna be good. I wonder if it doesn't open because it's rendering. Maybe. I trust the preliminary. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? 
Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. All right. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Well, square this time. Square. X. X. Money. Money. Repero! Yo. You smell like Repero. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go at that broken statue in the alcove by the water. Repero! I did it. Okay. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Thanks, Professor. We're trying to do missions here. Now I gotta get over here. Try to do first. Lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Yeah, that's actually pretty interesting. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. It's like getting it's rendered. So it doesn't open. That's just my opinion. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it oh, seems. Side mission. These are all side quests. Which I will do offline. Off grind. Off stream. Offline grind, that's what it is. Off the offline grind. I can't be doing this while you guys are watching. What's up, sucker? Well, fancy meeting you here. Y'all trust him? Y'all trust him or what? What y'all think? Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany Hogsmeade. you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything Give that you clock. need. Shall we? We shall. Yeah, it's definitely because I have a PS4. But your PS5, it's like lightning fast. Also, like the images and, and the quality of the video, it like renders in as you like, you you keep, keep going, like it loads in. The blink blink. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course, you're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. I don't trust you. Speaking so, of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. I spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. He's not a good guy, I can tell. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. You saw that? Like, right there? She was, like, going through the floor. The librarian was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Rebellio. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? I feel like I should well, just follow him for now. I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Huh. Just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. That's cool. Wait, I didn't know I could be collecting all this stuff. Very cool, very cool. It really is open world. Hey, I'm going back and getting more. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Where? Quite a sight, oh, isn't geez. it? You certainly don't see that every day. Pretty cool, pretty cool. What's up, boys? Boys? Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already made it. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, 
Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Mm. Ah, you can see Hogsby just past those ruins up ahead. Oh, we're shot right now. Yeah, this game's beautiful. Look at this. Ooh, look at this. Kind of cool. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Slytherin the lucky they I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. Rebellion. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Ugh. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of the event. Rebellion. Moonstones. 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 Does anybody want smoke? You guys want problems? Oh wait, it's another cat. <laughs> wow, look at the eyes. Sounds like otter. Ooh, that sounds like actually otter when he is stressed. Ooh, what's this? Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm going back. Okay, so that was monsters. I guess I, I fight Mr. Those. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hey, what's up, Mr. Moon? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did Mr. Moon? Demi guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys, I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen this state. Look like no stones. They look. Very important. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Oh, sorry to hear that, brother. This... Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. It kind of looks like Diagon Alley, but a whole town of it. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spellcrafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new one. Ooh, and a short go. list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Alright, champ. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Alright, alright. <clears throat> Dude. Okay. Is this a uh, thing I should be doing? Like, scan everything? I don't even know. Like, I'm just gonna go. We gotta visit this guy. Thank you. Hello? This is like the, the one, one area. 
Yeah. I'll be right with. Remember, Harry opens up his wine. It looks so, like those boxes. Um, just a moment, please. Uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you? Not? Everybody knows oh, me, bro. What saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Olivanders, the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Olivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 uh, not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Mother, you're breaking everything, Looks brother. Like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Ooh. Oh, we get to make it our own. Oh, bet. Wait, wait, wait. What's this? What's this? What's this? Okay. That's what I want. How intriguing. Mm. Curious indeed. I want something like funky. Nah. Oh man, I love this color. How intriguing. You know, you know the thing is, Green was actually just telling me she wanted to make our dresser and everything like a like a matted black. Curious indeed. This is the closest thing to it. This looks ugly. Like the design. Like I like this design. I wish I could do it matted. But you know what? Let's do that. Length. How give, intriguing. Give me the longest one, brother. Flexibility swishing. Curious indeed. Dude, what does this mean? Unyielding. Like it doesn't move? I don't care. I don't want it. Wait, wait, what's this then? Uh. Art. Sorry, this core man. Use of powerful magic. No. No, powerful. Always power, baby. A dragon heart string wand is most powerful and learns quickly. What do you think? I don't want my wand breaking. So I made it sturdy. Unyielding. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> it's no good. We're gonna get in trouble here. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. 
I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Thank you, Mr. Ollivander. All right, not bad, not bad. I have a feeling I can break into people's houses. Because, like, everything has a lock on it. Yeah. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. What's up, brother? Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake. They are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to cool, time. Cool, cool, cool. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? Unless you're going to cost me, But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? I feel like this ain't free. Like the new stuff. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Four hundred bucks. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. No magical properties. Oh, I have this actually. Oh, that's the cell. Oh, that's what I have. I'm sorry. Too much money. I'm out of here, brother. Revelio. Oh, hello there. What's up, brother? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the ditany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm in the way inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? So they have to buy it too, right? Yeah. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. I'm not looking. Because I'm not buying. <laughs> See you later. Who's that? Who's just trying to bump into me? You got a problem? Ooh. 47 bucks. Very clunky. Okay. An inquiring mind. What's up, brother? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Professor Weasley. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. 
I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. What you want, when you want. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Yeah, we out of here. Nice brother. Yeah. Let's grab a beer with my potential enemy. I have a feeling that Sebastian guy is bad. Just have a feeling. You know? But he can also be a homie. You know, like, you know, your rival isn't really bad. It's just he's your rival or she's your rival. It could be like that. Revelio. See, look, level three locks, level two locks, like. Come on, Salo. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Of course. Bro. That's a troll, bro. Oh, okay. house circles to dodge oh I, I, wow I didn't even know I was gonna say that I just remembered I was talking okay so I, I can't dodge that one what cat run A taste of his own medicine. Nice shot. I hit him so good with the super five, bro. Oh my god. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. 
I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Hey, James Bond. Repair her. Good Oh, hello there. A moment if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Rebellion. Repairer. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What else was that? Oh, yes. Oh, you have to hold. Oh no, that's how it is. I'm sorry. I thought... Repair her. Repair her. What else is broken? Revelio. Repair her. He's right there in front of me. I thought it was like a... Something else. Nothing for Officer Singer to worry about. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. I'm in his room to before. Introduce myself. Talk to me. Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. No, thank, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Ooh. Okay, I guess this is the only option I got. You put the gear. Uh, okay, X. Yeah, I got something here too. I forgot to get the hands, the gloves. Um, hold on, what else can we get? Compare. I got nothing. What the hat? I got nothing. Ooh, legendary. That's what that means. Okay. Now, should I be spending the money right now? Is that something I should be worried about? That's the same. Some things like, oh man. Should should. I mean, I'm all about the offense. Like, all right, whatever. Let's just do it. I did it. I just spent the guap. I all the money I had on a scarf. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say yeah, that I scarf. agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Rebellion. I sell even more battle-worthy items. <laughs> You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. I'm telling you, I probably have to be invisible. I have to be invisible to open those things. I can almost guarantee that. You can't open those by itself. 
Yeah, I don't think you can. Assuming you it to... isn't utter bedlam in there. Sorry. You might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Uh, can we run? But yeah, no, I don't think... Shoot, that was I even saying? I remember. <laughs> hey, yo, look at that. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> let's go. Yeah, let's get out of here. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Yeah, let's go get hammered. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. But it'll be as you don't see a lot of me there. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Not timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. But I smacked it. I wasn't gonna curse. Not curse. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Yeah, let's get back to the crib. And on that note, I think we should head back to Revelio. the house. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast travel. I forget. We can just do that. 
gosh, I was sick. Um, where's my room? I forget where it is. I think it's the Great Hall, right? You go Great Hall and then... Where to go? I didn't know what's your room. finish the quest? Let me double check. I wanted to be sure. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Whatever, that was, uh, I guess that's the end of the quest. I mean, that was, uh, you know, that was pretty quick. Um, yeah, man, I think there's something up with this Rangrook guy. I don't know why he wants me, but it is what it is. We, I, I know we're gonna cross past him. We're gonna have to put the beat down on him. And I think Sebastian, solid dude, could have ran away. You know what I'm saying? Also, he could have took his, he could have took a look at me. You know, I was getting attacked by a troll. He could have hit me. He didn't do it. All joking aside, though. But all joking aside, this game is uh, pretty dope. Very excited about what's we're gonna do next. Let's see this story unravel. All right. So, uh, what is it? It's four o'clock now. I got you. Eagles are playing tonight. Playing against the Vikings. Looking to put the smack down on them. Um, I I got to change. I got to eat dinner. Get changed. Go to my boy's house. And we're going to watch the game there. At his uh, new apartment. Shout out to my boy Johnny P. And uh, also shout out to you guys for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope I catch you at the next one. Alright. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace out.